Hello, welcome to Tesla Auto Video. Today, what we will review is how to create a new job from scratch. So basically, you want to, uh, to to create a new job and assign it to a specific user in order for him to execute it in the field. That's what we're gonna review today in the uh, in the system. So basically, from the top menu, you'll have a, a menu which is called Create. You can create a new job, or you you could duplicate an existing job. So if you know that the uh, the, 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 the new job is you know is similar to one that you have already um, defined in the system you can simply select the job you want to duplicate and hit duplicate but now we will do it from scratch so basically I will select the new job so we have like a small wizard that you can go through in order to set your job and the job will mainly dictate what the user will see in the field so basically everything you define in a job the user will simply have to you know log in into the system and everything will be predefined so users don't have to type in all this information again it's it's already defined in the server and pushed to the user so basically here we're just going to do a basic job which is demo demo test flow and the company i'm just going to call it X4, I'm gonna call it X4. And here I can assign that job. I can assign that job to all the users that I have invited into my system. So these could become a collaborator in the field and execute a job. So basically, if I want to, uh, to assign the job to a specific user, I can simply specify that user here. In this case, it's me. And then I can, you know, hit the, um, the, uh, the, the I, can, I can invite another user. If I wanted to have like a, a, a job which is executed with two operator, I can I could invite a second operator, and you know that that operator could have also a view on that specific job. Um, here I can specify extra information. So basically, I can uh, I can specify information and document the job. If I want, for example, uh, set a due date, knowing that okay, in three weeks from now, that specific job should be done. So I can you know set a due date and if the job goes beyond that due date it's going to be flagged as red and then i can take the proper action in order to fix what uh, the issue and the reason why the, this job is not uh, completed by that date then you can define comments so basically if you want your user to have a way to document uh, the jobs without having them to enter manual or free text uh, comments you can use the predefined comment menu to uh, to do this so basically here you can type down pre uh, pre define comment one and then you can define several comments here and what the user will see in the uh, user interface on the tester, you will see drop downs. So basically, we'll have uh, drop downs that they can select and command the job. So basically, you can do this for all the test types that are support, uh, supported in, uh, in uh, test flow. So basically, here you could, you know, bad connector. Uh, you could have, you know, any, any comments that you, you, you are currently using in your organization, you can you reflect them into the, uh, the job definition as well. Test configuration, so you can you can force test configuration to be pushed to the tester. So when the uh, the, the person in the field receives a job, he doesn't have to set the threshold, the testing parameter. This can be done directly from the server. So basically here I can, okay, I know it's going to be an IOLAN job. Then I'm going to enable that specific configuration that I want that the user to use to execute that job. Uh, same for the FIP here, so I can select the IEC standard, you know, that reflects the connector type that would be uh, that would be uh, needed for that specific job. So basically, once you have defined, you know, the general information, the predefined command, and then the test configuration, you can create the uh, the job. Uh, just last uh, last comment on the test configuration. You can import new test configuration. These test configuration can be defined either in fast reporter or they can be defined directly in a tester and imported into a PC. But the main place you, you, want, you will want to do this is from Fast Reporter. Once you have defined uh, you know, everything that you wanted to document in, in the job, you can click Create. By clicking Create, this will create the job in the Testful server. 
and it will assign it to the user that you have uh, you have selected. So basically, next time that um, this user will go and log into the system, he will now see this specific job assigned to him. So in this case, it's Mark. Mark Rondo. So basically, Mark Rondo. Next time you will sync link to uh, or, you know uh, log into the system via let's say a test instrument. It will see that specific job appear and it can start doing the test. Okay. This is how you can create uh, uh, the job. And then what we will see in uh, another capsule is it's how to create the test IDs within the job because you could let the user create the IDs directly from the field or you could you know you could do it directly from the server so the next time the user will uh, go in the f in the tester to to execute the job he will you know all the job information will be completed will be predefined and all the test IDs could also be predefined by, by let's say a manager from the server so this is what we will review in the next capsule how to to um, to add test IDs to a job from the server